PNC Maverick with Craig Pretzinger. Fuel for your mind and agency in under five minutes. Hello, PNC Mavericks. Craig Pretzinger here. And today we're tackling one of the most complex and often misunderstood laws from Robert Greene's 48 Laws of Power. Law number 14, which states, pose as a friend, work as a spy. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Spy? Deception? Craig, are you telling us to be fake and manipulative in our insurance careers? Absolutely not. In fact, I believe that authenticity, transparency, and genuine connection are more important than ever in our industry. Building trust and credibility with our clients, colleagues, and communities is the foundation of long-term success and fulfillment. But here's the thing. Being authentic and being strategic are not mutually exclusive. In fact, I would argue that the most successful insurance professionals are those who are able to balance sincere relationship building with a keen awareness of the bigger picture. Think about it. Our industry is constantly evolving with new competitors, technologies, and regulations emerging all the time. To stay ahead of the curve and make smart decisions for our businesses, we need to have our finger on the pulse of what's happening around us. That means staying informed and aware not just of our own clients and operations, but of the broader trends and dynamics shaping our industry. It means building a wide network of relationships and sources of intelligence so we can gather insights and perspectives from different angles. Now, I want to be clear. This is not about being sneaky or underhanded. It's not about pretending to be someone's friend just to get information out of them or using people's trust against them. In fact, I believe that kind of deception and manipulation is not only unethical, but ultimately counterproductive. It might give you a short-term advantage, but it will erode your reputation and relationships in the long run. Instead, the key is to approach relationship building and intelligence gathering with a spirit of mutual benefit and authentic interest. It's about creating win-win connections where both parties feel valued, respected, and supported. So how can we navigate this delicate balance? Here are a few strategies to consider. Lead with curiosity. The best way to build genuine relationships and gather valuable insights is to approach every interaction with a sense of openness and curiosity, ask questions, listen actively, and seek to understand others' perspectives and experiences. The more you show genuine interest in people, the more they'll open up to you in return. Focus on value creation. Don't just think about what you can get from your relationships. Think about what you can give. Look for ways to add value to others' lives and businesses, whether through sharing your expertise, making connections, or offering support. The more you show up as a generous and helpful partner, the more people will want to reciprocate and share with you in return. Be transparent about your intentions. While it's important to be strategic in your relationship building, it's equally important to be upfront about your goals and motivations. Don't try to hide your agenda or manipulate others. Be honest about what you're hoping to learn or achieve and give people the respect and autonomy to decide how they want to engage with you. Protect confidentiality. Building trust and gathering intelligence often means being privy to sensitive or confidential information. It's crucial to handle that information with the utmost care and discretion and never to use it in a way that could harm or betray others' trust. Always err on the side of protecting people's privacy and confidentiality, even if it means passing up a potential opportunity. No. Stay aligned with your values. There may be times when the pressure to gather intelligence or gain an advantage tempts you to compromise your ethics or values. In those moments, it's important to stay grounded in your own moral compass and make decisions that align with your integrity. Remember that no short-term gain is worth sacrificing your reputation or self-respect in the long run. By approaching law number 14 with these principles in mind, we can navigate the complex dynamics of relationship building and intelligence gathering in a way that feels authentic, ethical, and ultimately fulfilling. But it's not always easy. There will be times when the lines feel blurry or when we're not sure how to balance competing priorities and pressures. In those moments, I find it helpful to come back to a simple question. Is this something I would feel proud to share with the people I care about most? Is it aligned with the kind of person and professional I want to be? If the answer is no, then it's probably not worth pursuing, no matter how tempting or advantageous it might seem in the moment. Because at the end of the day, our success and fulfillment in this industry and in life come down to the quality of our character and the depth of our relationships. It comes down to being someone that others can trust, respect, and want to work with, 
not just for a quick win, but for the long haul. So, Bites, I challenge to you, PNC Mavericks, is to approach law number 14 with intention, discernment, and a commitment to your own ethical standards. Build genuine relationships and gather strategic intelligence in a way that feels authentic and mutually beneficial. Stay informed and aware of the bigger picture, but never at the cost of your integrity or others' trust. And, and above all, remember that the most powerful pose you can ever adopt is the one that reflects your true self, your values, your passions, and your unique gifts and strengths. Because when you show up as your authentic best self and build relationships and reputations based on trust, generosity, and shared success, that's when the real magic happens. That's when you become a true leader, influencer, and change maker in this industry and beyond. As always, keep pushing boundaries, keep questioning the status quo, and keep being the maverick that you are. Until next time, this is Craig Pretzinger signing off. Hey there, want to hear more? Join me with my co-host buddy, Jason Feltman, at the Insurance Dudes podcast or the Insurance Dudes website over at dum.theidudes.com. Please, if you liked what you heard, click subscribe and you'll get the newest episode each time.